Hi everyone and welcome back to The Harder Thoughts. In today's video, I've been invited to participate in this unconventional mermaid collab, which has excited me a lot since I had the pleasure of collaborating with artists that I admire over the years and in it were participating. Me, Stefuro, Enchantarium, Jackie O, Kiro's Workshop, and Harley's Dollhouse. In this collab, we have to make unconventional sea creatures, not necessarily making mermaids, but rather something grounded or completely reliable. For my part in this collaboration, I decided to make Alberto from Disney Pixar's Luca, since he's not the typical sea creature that comes out of the water and turns into a human with the sunlight. I do not consider myself as a super fan of Disney, since my style is very different from them, but I really like the concept they did in the movie. Obviously, to make my concept, I decided to make Alberto in my personal style, giving him this effect as you can see. So, before we start, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and ring the bell to get notified when I apply new videos. And without more to say, let's get started! For the base, I will use a Hitburns doll from Monster High, which I had saved for a long time and which I really wanted to use. The first thing I'll do is submerge his head in hot water and wait 30 seconds for the plastic to soften. With that, I can remove the head more easily. After that, I will clean the face of the dough with a cloth of pure acetone. Being this way, I will put the head aside since first I will start working with his body. With a hot saw, I'm going to cut off his toes. And then mark the area of the hole for his tail, which I will put later. Thus keeping the feet and the back. I'm going to use the copper wire you see to make the structure of Alberto's toes. I already marked the point to have a better guy. Staying this way, trying to make them as even as possible. Now with a potsy, I'm going to mold the shape of his feet so they look like the ones of a sea creature, or more or less like in the Disney version. And this is how they turn it out having done them this way. They lengthen it a bit and can be folded without any problem. In the same way, I will also make the rare fins, which in my opinion they look very good and which I open it holes in the leads to be able to grab them. Off camera, I also done the same with his right arm and with his hand. Achieving a modification like that was very difficult and more of how they was positioned, but in the end I did the best I could. In my concept, I want Alberto to look like a sea monster on one side, and on the other to show some part of his human side on top, that being the reason why I did not modify the left side of him. With the modifications ready, I will remove the fins to be able to sand the feet with a sandpaper. Now with a sharpie marker, I will paint the joints blue to avoid problems with the paint. With that, it's time to paint it. As a base color, I will use spray paint just like I did with Alita's body. Outside my house, I start spraying little by little and try to not spray too close since I don't want thick layers of paint. This paint has to dry for a whole day or two so that it can be adhered well to the surface. So, I take advantage of the Panamanian heat so that it can do his job. And this is how it turned out. Thank god it hasn't rained because the weather in my country is very unpredictable and you never know if it will be rain or not. Okay, as a last minute change I decided to add some scales with epoxy so it doesn't look so basic when I paint it. Which means I had to go by using the spray paint. Diosito, te ruego por favor que no llueva. After I pass the spray, I start to apply Alberto's skin color with a makeup sponge, and then use a brush for the smaller parts. I must say that doing this part was the most stressful part of filming, since I always used to work with natural skin colors, and this is definitely out of my comfort zone. It is the first time I made a sea creature, and I want a decent result.
With this bright paint I will use it to bring out the purple color of his skin and as a gradient effect in certain areas. With a super fine brush I will highlight the scale with white lines. Now as I draw in my concept I will paint the human side of Alberto with several layers of color with his human skin tone trying to give a splatter effect. And this is how Alberto's body has turned out half and half. The color combination really looks wonderful in addition to having achieved the effect I wanted on his human side. And without a doubt the lights I painted on his scale helping to highlight more. Off camera I already painted his fins staying this way. And with his body finished it's time to work on his head. With a scalpel I begin to remove the part that I don't need such as the nose and ears. Although the last one I only cut off a piece so it doesn't look sharp. Now having removed the nose it has me remind me a lot of Voldemort. <laughs> As you can see I have already attached the head to the body to avoid problems when I made the modifications. With copper wire I made the structure of his ear in the same way that I made the fins. With hot glue I begin to fill in the space of the hairline so that later I can take advantage of the heat of the gun and smooth the surface so that it's even. Leaving it this way as you can see. Up camera I already reforcing everything including Alberto's two ears being completely hard. In addition to that I also removed the doll lids. With that I start to make the facial modification with the help of my epoxy sculpt. When doing this, what I'm looking for is not exactly that it resembles the original design of the character, since when making the concept I base it on the proportion of the face of the doll so that the design can be applied in a better way. As I mentioned in past occasions, the concept helps me not to make mistakes when I'm working and likewise I avoid improvising. On the right side of his face, I also decided to add scales as an extra detail. And this is how it turned it out. Wow, this modification is without a doubt the most radical I've done so far. And with that, it's time for the repaint. Off camera I already painted the entire area of the head just as I draw in my concept. And after having applied 3 layers of MSC, I begin to draw the lines of his eyes using 2 different colors from both sides. At first I thought that I would have problems with the face since I was afraid that the paint would bleed due to the pressure when I passed the pencil. And in the end I was able to do it without any problem. I decided to draw Alberto's eye more in an anime style since his original design would not be proportional to the doll's head and I felt that doing them in that way gives the character another essence. And that is how the lines of the eyes have turned it out. With that I begin to pass the base color with shades of yellow and white for the feel of both eyes. And then color them with a light green pencil for the pupils. With chalk passes I will outline the right side of his face and thus touch up his ear and scale with darker shades of blue. I will do the same with his human side using brown tones this time. After another layer of spray, the colors are highlighted little by little. If you have seen the film, you will know that the shape of Alberto and Luca's pupils are different from those of their human side. And in the same way, I also draw the pupils of the doll. With a lilac watercolor pencil I will touch up the scale of his face to give a better effect. After that I color his mouth.
finish it using the pencils I will highlight the eyes more with watercolor. Alberto has freckles on his face and I'm going to apply them with different colors just like I did with the eyes. With white I will pass the line to highlight the scales just like I did with those of his body. Now I continue to highlight his face more, this time with paint. Here at this point I begin to experiment with metallic colors and doing it they give me a completely different result. Now with white paint I will put in the shine of the eye on both sides. And then finish protecting with a layer of gloss varnish on the eyes and mouth. And this is how Alberto's face has turned out, or should I say, faces? <laughs> it is the first time that I done a ripping in this way, and I must say that I like the result a lot. With that ready, it's time to do his hair. To make Alberto's hair out of scale on his right side, I used purple craft foam which I cut and painted off camera to make these scales. I made four sides so that when it comes to glue it then they have various shades. Now with the help of my glue gun, I start to poop them. Recording this part was very difficult because of how I was doing it. I wanted to split this part a little but it was going to be very long. I will only say that I start to glue them in a circular way. Stay in this way. With his hair attached, seriously is already taking shape little by little. I'm excited to be able to achieve things like this. With more glossy purple paint, I will make half a better fusion and finish. And with a few coats of varnish, I will protect the paint of the scales. The human side, I simply be gluing the yarn wets, which I had not stretching it with an iron, since I want a cooler and more natural look. The tool I use makes it fit in a better way. With the hair cut, I will mold it with glue and water and try to make the curve of Alberto more defined. Stay in this way. I decided to add hair to his left eyebrow to give his face a more realistic touch. And I must say that it looks great in this way, just like his hair. And with that, it's time to make the final details of the doll. For detail, I will use this wire as part of the structure. I already marked my pattern on paper based on the heat of the wire, leaving a free space. And I will use this fabric that I had painted to be able to make detail. In the same way too, I made the fins. And now with all my materials, I can make it. Stay in this way. With the tail already saw, I begin to put the wire inside, which I covered it with tape. To then fill it with waste strips of yarn and with the help of a barbecue stick I will insert them. Once filled, it, I will accommodate it and mold it a little with my fingers. And then pass white details to each scale of the tail. And this is how it turned it out. Off camera, I already glued it directly to the body, staying this way. I have applied more paint so that it can be better combined with the body at the top, and so that it has a better finish. Off camera, I decided to also do Alberto's clothes since they are not much. They are just a sleepless shirt and work pants, which I painted by him to give that effect. This is how they will look on the doll's body. 
I already cut the strip that serves as a belt, and I saw the pants directly on the body so that they fit well to the tail. As you can see, I already glued the fins on his legs and I used more epoxy and paint so that they have a better finish at the end. And with that, Alberto is ready. I had said that I did not consider myself as a super fan of Disney, and I admit that getting out of my comfort zone with this dog was a challenge, and a very big one. But I also admit that it was incredible to achieve this type of result and more to taking out of my own concept art. The color scheme I used along with the little detail have make it look amazing. Well, I guess doing something completely different that I already done it wasn't so bad at all. <laughs> Thanks for watching this video, like, comment, and subscribe to my channel for more content like this. You can also follow me on Instagram and TikTok as the Harder Dolls. And of course, don't forget to watch the videos that all my doll friends made. They all made wonderful dolls and seeing this photo makes me very happy and excited to participate in this collab. All the links are in the description on this video so you can see one by one. So that's all for today guys, my name is Eric and I'll see you next time. Bye!